What's up, everybody? Noah Kaser back here for your Hallmark review. Let's get into it. We got one Hallmark review this week. We got one next week, and then we go into, I believe it's two weeks with four. Four movies within two weeks. So here we go. Fit for a Prince is about a fashionable. A fashionable designer is is hired to dress ladies of a wealthy family which are hosting uh, a a upcoming charity ball. Cindy's life takes an unexpected turn when she has to also dress Prince Ronan, who she has become smitten with. This movie is one that I was really looking forward to. If you look back at royal movies from the past with Hallmark, most of them have worked. Most of them have worked. Let's get into Fit for a Prince. I'm a fan of the royal Hallmark films, and I'm a fan of Hallmark films in general. I don't care if they're royal Christmas or not. I just love the Hallmark films. Now, you are going to get people who are massive, massive fans of the royalty uh, storylines because it's a very charming story. You do get a lot of charm with this movie. It's very charming. It's very royal. The dresses are very well done. Beautiful costume design and the production design along with the lighting and cinematography are beautifully done. The problem is and they spend too much time at the ball, and they try to make it too much of a comedy. It's also a drama a little bit as well. The romance, there's no chemistry between the two characters, so I don't really care about the chemistry between those two. But they did start to build chemistry towards the end of the movie, but at that point it was just too late. The movie does try to be a comedy at some points. It does have some cute moments. Do, do... I am not going to say due to a good script, because it's not a great script. It's not a great script. It's just an okay script. They did a good job at the beginning between uh, the, the, the two main characters here, with Ronan and Cindy. Then we get into the ball. The ball takes up a good chunk of the movie, and that's a good thing when you're interested in it. I didn't get to know the characters as much as I wanted to and they and and they introduce so many characters that it's hard to feel for everybody. It's not like with a uh a mo a movie like Valentine's Day or New Year's Eve where there's all these different stories and all these different characters they somehow just tie together. It's not like that where you are interested in some characters and some not. You're only interested in these two characters, but yet I am not interested in these two characters because they have no good chemistry besides a few cute, cute moments here and there and towards the end of the movie where there's a really nice kiss. And I'm going to be talking about the kisses in the Hallmark films because last year they were very petty. Very petty kisses, and now we're starting to get better. Once we get a couple more really, really good ones, then I'm, I'm just going to stop talking about them. Fit for a Prince has some good elements, but it also has some poor elements, mainly how they try to make it a comedy. And it doesn't really work for the most part. With Hallmark romantic comedies, yeah, you are going to get some cute moments here and there that you're laughing because it's just a cute moment. This one... They, they tell her that that's not a big dress-up party, and she comes in in a t-shirt. That is supposed to be disheartening, but the problem is I just didn't care. I was losing interest throughout the whole movie. Fit for a Prince is perfectly fine. It's nothing I'm ever going to watch again, but it's definitely not a great Hallmark film. It's one that I am going to say check out. If you are a fan of royal movies, it's not as good as a royal Christmas crown for Christmas, uh, one royal holiday, or something like that, but I'm definitely going to say check it out if you get the chance, and I believe it's going to be on at least a couple more times this week. If not, it'll be on Saturday or Sunday at some point. Check it out if you are interested, but if you are just not into the royal movies, 
then this is like all the rest of them, just not as well done. I'm going to give Fit for a Prince a B-.